Chris, your first taste of a North Ants derby, it has ended in defeat, but where would you begin to summarise that one today? Um, it's hard to, you know, it's, uh, we started ever so well, didn't we? You know, um, got a goal finally, which was good. And we had chances to get a second, I thought. And, uh, but Corby, Corby, you know, it's, it's a local derby. There was a little bit of a cup-like atmosphere off out the ground today. Supporters were brilliant. I don't know what the crowd was today, it was 700 and something so like that. 716 I believe. So um, yeah, really good crowd, thanks for the supporters. Um, both clubs made a good atmosphere. I believe I'm at the wheel, someone said, I think the Corby fans were liking <laughs> that, <laughs> buggers. Um, but listen, it, it was hard, it was a tough game, it could have gone either way. I think with 15 minutes ago it's won all and it could have gone either way and uh, unfortunately they probably just had a little bit too much for us. You've reverted to a back five today. I would imagine that's to you know shore things up and be a bit more secure against a, a Corby side who score a lot of goals, particularly on the road. We'll come on to the second half, but first half especially, you know, we looked so good, particularly defensively, didn't we? Yeah, I mean we were strong, we were solid, it's everything we wanted to be. Um, George pulled off a magnificent save, um, got down really low at the near post in the first half, which I thought was a really good save because I could see a slight deflection on it. Um, but we did restrict them, you know, but look, we, I think the disappointing thing for me is probably the goal they got at the beginning of the second half. You know, I knew they were going to come at us, I knew it was going to be hard and I think, I think, you know, I think we kicked out for throwing. I think the throwing, we almost tried to let it run out and then it got, got corner and before you know it, the ball's in the back of the net and that gave them fresh impetus. However, I would say I thought we had two or three good chances at 1-1. I think Pharrell keeps, their keeps pulled off a good save, but um, we just, yeah, we just fell a, a little bit short over 90 minutes against a much more experienced side and I've said that already this season um, and we'll probably say it again but I do feel we were better than what we were Saturday on Saturday I felt we were better than what we were on Tuesday so I feel our performance is getting better um, and, and yeah today hurts a word for the goal Luke getting it coming up clutch for the side captain's finish from him very similar header to his first one against Nuneaton but what about that moment for the Peter the Bank I know it's ultimately ended in vain but it yeah, was a great moment for listen the it was good um, it would have been great had that been the winning goal um, but yeah you know we have moments in football don't we that we enjoy and that was something that we enjoyed um, I just wish we could have just got something out of the game yeah conceded those three goals in the second half where do you begin to analyse those well the first goal I just think um, like I said coming at the beginning of the second half and, and it gave them fresh images but I felt it was really level after that I thought both teams were trying to win the game and they've just they're, they're top three are very good second half I thought I thought they were a real handful um, but we kept going we stayed in the game and, and like I said we had our chances you know and, and that's, that's all I can say really um, they took theirs we didn't take ours Looking ahead to Saturday then, Loughborough Dynamo away. Now, I suppose ordinarily you'd have Tuesday, Thursday as training days. We're obviously playing on a Monday today, so I'm sure you won't be training tomorrow. But no. what does this week look like for you? Um, well, I think I'll be attending the AGM on Thursday. Um, so, But the boys will be training Thursday. Um, and then uh, obviously Loughborough away on um, Saturday. I think we've got back to back now. Yeah. Next two games. League and so Trophy. League and Trophy. Is it 3G Loughborough? I don't know if it's a 3G. It might it? be Scott. No, it's not. No. Scott knows. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, look, we've we got t two games against them. Very difficult playing the same team. So, you know, back to back. So we've got to make it difficult for them. Could it work in your favour in the sense that the first time you play them, you you've seen them, you know what they're about? Will that help you in your preparation for the second one? Possibly. It will if we win. <laughs> So, you know, it's the same for both teams, and it? it's just at any level, it's hard playing the same team back to back. So, but listen, look, I, I want to lick my wounds today. That's what we do in football. We've got to try and the, look, the dressing room's very tight. I will say that the boys are giving everything. Um, I'm hopeful of bringing in at least one player, hopefully two this week, but definitely one. So, um, I hope so. Um, but yeah, we'll see. You know, we, 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 we just, we just, you know, I've been trying to get a little bit of experience in, but it's so hard. It really is um, difficult, um, but you know, like I said, all we can do is keep trying our best. And if we keep trying our best uh, with the attitude we've got of my management team and the players, I know, I know we're getting closer. Absolutely. Thanks for your time, Chris. We look ahead to Saturday. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Chris and Joseph. This is AFC RV TV. The final score for this late August Bank Holiday Monday local derby at Hayden Road. AFC Russian Diamonds 1, Corby Town 3. The man of the match, hey, it's deja vu, Luke Massingham again. And uh, Luke, well done. But gee, these are the times that try men's souls, aren't they? Yeah, listen, I think it's another tough another tough loss. Um, boys done really well. You know, first half, I think we was excellent. I think we was the better side. I think everything we done was, was uh, had some purpose behind it. Picking up the second balls, winning the first headers, um, winning corners. Every, everything we done was, was superb, I, I think. And um, 
in the second half, I think we let ourselves down a little bit. Whether that's tiredness, or whether whatever that is, you know, we just can't let it happen. Um, but listen, early goals always going to make it difficult. Coming up, first thing we were saying is they're going to come straight out at us, and, and and we let them do it. But do you know what? The boys, the boys fought hard. You know, we had another chance at one all, and um, sure. yeah, listen, there's not much we can say about that. Oh boy, the old cliche a game of two halves. <clears throat> but uh, you had an excellent goal in the 24th minute. Uh, I believe it was a header, right? Yeah. Just tell yeah, us yeah. a little bit about your goal. It's the right place, right time. I think. Seen the ball come over and uh, just, just threw my head at it. And um, yeah, listen, it, it went in and it was a great moment. But um, you know, I think Chris just said it. Uh, football has its moments. You know, it has all of its good and bad moments. That was an excellent moment for me. Fans are excellent, and um, you know, it's, it's very bittersweet. A loss, but but a, a great goal. So. Uh, I guess now would be a good time for me to apologise. Last Saturday, I mistakenly said that Ethan Johnson had a shot in the second half go off the crossbar, but of course that was you, Luke. <laughs> yeah. So I apologise for no, that. That's but, all right. Uh, today, though, you're right there in the right place at the right time to head the ball home, and Diamonds are leading one nil at halftime. Boy, the, uh, the lads, uh, all of you had to feel great about that. Yeah, listen, it, it was excellent going in at halftime one nil. You know, we spoke about it before. Let's get to halftime. Uh, at least not conceding. So you know, it was it was a great achievement for us, and, and to be winning, it, even better. Goal at home as well, you know. So it, it's it's a tough one at the end. It's a tough one to take losing three one after that. And it's uh, never good to give up a goal in uh, the very first minute of the second half. Drew Richardson in the 46 minute. It wasn't much uh, George Rose could do about that one, was it? No, listen, it was a great finish, but I, I think you know, straight from kickoff, we we, we struggled to deal with it. And um, listen. It, a goal, a goal is a goal. It doesn't matter what time it is. It's still going to hurt you. Uh, boys showed some, as I said, they showed some great application to, to have another go. And you know, at one all, Farrell's gone through on goal. Um, you know, keepers made a good save. So, so listen, the application's there from the boys. You know, we're, we're trying as hard as we can. Every performance has got better. The lads are putting as much work as in, in as we can. You know, the management team are excellent. Um, you know, they're giving us all the right information. The boys, are, the boys are taking it on board now, which is excellent. So it's just about getting to that, getting those little fine margins I mentioned about on Saturday correct, and uh, and, and the tide will change. Of course. Uh, well, the uh, the match did have a nice uh, local derby feel to it. Uh, well over 700 in attendance at Hayden Road. So uh, well done to Corby Town supporters and Diamond supporters. Listen, Russian fans are always amazing. I think today they showed showed what they're all about. Corby brought some, brought some good fans down as well, made a great atmosphere. So um, listen, that's that's what derbies are for at the end of the day, and uh, you know we thrive off that kind of. Um, energy from the crowd so long may it continue and next we have left for dynamo by quirk of the schedule two games in a row two but uh, a row. next saturday in league play at left for dynamo yep uh, by the way i understand that that's the greater nottingham area <laughs> so uh, off to left we go and right. hopefully we'll get a better result listen fingers crossed because because you know we got we got to get that win now um, but like i said it's coming you know every game we've got a lot better we've got a lot stronger we're doing the right things hitting the ball in the right areas um, so listen, fine margins, but it's, it's coming, and um, you know everyone's just got to stick behind us and, and, and keep believing in us, just like the lads are in there. Of course, I don't think I've asked you this yet, uh, Luke. Uh, growing up as a young kid, did you have a, a favourite player in maybe a team that you supported, say in the Premier League or some um, the football pyramid? At, okay. at centre half, it, it would have to be John Terry. Um, oh, JT, you know, yeah, the captain, yeah. captain of England. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a difficult one because keep your keep your fan. So uh, saying that's Ooh. a bit you're saying that's a bit uh, controversial. But oh, listen, so great defender. Few, you've seen a few games at Loftus Road, maybe. Yes, yeah, season ticket holder when I was younger. So oh, very good. For so Queen's yeah, Park Rangers, hundred percent. All right, thanks for your time again, Luke, and we'll see you catch you next game. Perfect. Really appreciate it.